Hello, I've got a great story for us today. Our story is going to be called Kindergartner's Can. Okay. Now, this is the first story that we have read in kindergarten that we are going to call a non-fiction story. Can you practice saying that word for me? Please say non-fiction. Good. You are going to hear me say that word a lot this year. The word non-fiction means that it's going to be a story that gives information about real people or things. Okay? The, the word real is very important when we talk about non-fiction. So non-fiction stories are about real things. Check out this photograph right here. You can tell by looking at it that this is a real teacher in a real classroom with real students. Okay? Nothing about this story is going to be made up. There aren't going to be any talking animals or um, any animals that are dressed like humans. This is just about real people in real places. Okay, and we're going to read this nonfiction story together to find out what the kindergartners in the story can do. And I wonder if there's some of the same things that you can do in our classroom. So this is the picture for the first part of the story. Look at the teacher, look at the students. Think about how their classroom, although we can only see part of it, is kind of like ours and how it's kind of different than ours. Okay, and let's read the first part of the story. Here we have the title again, Kindergartners Can. Look at these kindergarten children. What do you think these children did as soon as they got to class? Yes, you are right. The first thing they did was to put their bag, to put away their bags and coats, just like we do. Now we can't put them in our closet right now because of our rules for the coronavirus, but we do put our bags down and our coats down at our seats. Now they are sitting in a reading circle. They listen to their teacher as she reads them a new book. While she reads, the children look at the pictures. Then the teacher and children talk about the book together. All of the children have questions about the story. Everyone wonders what will happen next. Learning about new books is one of the many different things these children can do in kindergarten. And that is definitely something we will do in KB. We're going to learn about so many different books and read so many different types of stories and have fun talking about them together. Look at the next picture of the students in the class. I wonder what they're doing. Let's find out. Kindergartners can grow things. Now the children work together to grow plants for a class garden. Everyone has a special job to do for this project. Some children carefully bury tiny seeds in the soil. Others water the plants each week. Water helps the plants grow tall and strong. The class wants to find out how, many plant, how much the plants grew. So the children will measure the plants with a ruler. These plants are growing fast. Now everyone will put the plants near a sunny window. The plants need lots of sun. The kindergartners care for the plants all year. It is an important job. How tall will the plants grow? Okay, now we will do projects like this in our classroom, especially if we can, um, if things regarding the coronavirus start to change. Some of the fun projects, unfortunately, we can't do because we can't get close to one another and share tools, but hopefully we can someday soon. All right, let's check out the next photograph. Oh, it looks like these kids are outside having recess.
So try to notice the differences between their play area for recess and ours. Okay. Now, once again, think about our outside recess at school. We have a wonderful playground that unfortunately we can't use right now, but hopefully we can soon. Their area to play looks a little different. Okay. It looks like they might be more in a city or a neighborhood. I see pavement, I see cars in the background, and maybe even some houses. This is different from our school. Our school is kind of by itself on the piece of land where it sits. We have a lot of grass and trees and fields that surround our school. This school just looks a little different. Let's read to find out about their recess. Kindergartners can play together in the school playground. It's fun to jump rope with your friends. Each person takes a turn. Other children stand in a circle and play catch. It feels good to be outside on a warm afternoon. Some kindergartners play soccer. One player kicks the ball. Whoosh! It sails through the air. Who will run and kick it next? No one wants the game to end. Now it's time to go back inside. When playtime ends, the children put away their jump ropes and balls. Then they get in a line and walk back inside the school together. Soon they will meet a special visitor. Let's see who the special visitor is. Oh, it looks like it's a police officer. You can see the kindergartner standing with the police officer. Our school district has its own um, police officer, and he was actually at our school last week to help with one of our drills. Some of you saw him. I don't think everyone saw him, but he was in our school. Let's read about this officer. Kindergartners can learn about community helpers, too. A police officer visits the school today. Officer Bradley tells the children all about his job. He explains how he helps keep everyone safe. He reminds the children to obey all the traffic signs and to listen to their teacher. The children ask him many questions. They want to know what it is like to work in a police station. What is it like to drive a police car? After the police officer leaves, the children work together to write a class thank you note. They hope that he will come back to visit their classroom again soon. There is so much to do in kindergarten. What do you think you will learn this year? So um, this was a great story about a different kindergarten class. Remember, this was a nonfiction story. That means that this story was about a real class in a real school with a real teacher and real students. Nothing about this story was made up. And to help us understand that, there was photographs instead of illustrations. These photographs were taken with a camera and they show real people in the real classroom at the real school, okay? So you did an awesome job listening to our first nonfiction um, story and head over to the discussion to talk about some of the things that you might want to learn in kindergarten this year. Thanks everyone.